Hello, everyone. Welcome to the program Shagalinku. And um, it's a very lovely time to all of you, wherever you're watching us from. Thank you so much for joining. Um, on Saturday, we're here to talk about uh, drug abuse and what we can do to help um, drug users, you know, to gain recovery, so to say, and then um, lead a normal life. Evelyn was here with me from Inugu, and we talked about that. Um, today, it's a Tuesday, and um, this is a Tuesday's edition. We'll be looking at um, social media bullying, okay? It used to be cyber bullying before, no thanks to maybe email, websites, and all that. But bullying is becoming closer to us than we expect. Um, it's now found on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, even sadly on WhatsApp, you know? So you, you find a group where you have diverse kinds of people, professionals, um, people from different religion, tribe, and ethnicity. But you find that even in spite of all that, they can't just be in a WhatsApp group um, and communicate or talk about issues without being biased, so to say, or being extreme. And then you find in groups where sometimes people just get overworked. Some people just get overworked and want to shake the table or are insisting that you must tilt towards whatever they are saying at that point in time. And I sometimes wonder that why can't people just learn to allow others express themselves? I mean, isn't it exactly what you are doing when you want to impose your ideas, your opinions on another person? Isn't that exactly what you're doing when you don't let another person also express himself, especially on a topic that you can't claim ownership of? I've always heard in groups where people say no one is a monopoly of wisdom. So I wonder why some people in some groups or um, some spaces will want to do all that. It's even worse with trolling, you know. Celebrities have had a fair share of this. Um, they get carried away sometimes by their fans and all that. And then the day their fans will just <laughs> get at them, they will so drag them, eh? drag them on the floor as if it's one heap of those being. So today we're looking at that, and my guests are already here. I have Ola Dotun, and I have Chinasa also here. They'll be introducing themselves and telling us more about what they do, and then we'll be going on to ask them what they think about our topic of discussion, um, social media bullying. Well, I won't even ask Dotun who will start first. They say ladies first. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, yeah, China, it's better that way. I... You you have started with this politics. Men will say ladies first. <laughs> yes, when, they, when the big sharing comes, you know, they will align ladies. It's also a form of bullying, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what if we want to give money? If a lot of two wants to give the money now, says ladies first, will you say no? Give the men first if it's dollars. That would be a good thing. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Chinasa um, Ude, as you have seen, um, I think, on this screen. Yeah. I am the evidence advisor for um, E4A Mama Ye. Uh, sorry, I'm the state advisor for E4A Mama Ye in Niger State. I'm a content development expert so i develop content social media content blogs um training um slides and what have you just whatever is the content <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> just put it across to me and then we can all figure it out all the way to you know hardcore research so um that's um my specialty and i'm happy to be here to discuss bullying um, I think I'm taking it off from here to talk a little bit about bullying. I think it's just something that ordinarily we do. And we just move it to different platforms, things that people do on their own. So it doesn't really matter whether it's physical bullying or internet-based bullying or let's say social media bullying. We have people who have innate nature to bully. So wherever they are, they showcase that nature. So I'll just peg it at, at that place while we reminisce and then 
my fellow my fellow guests will introduce themselves and himself and then we'll take it from there. Okay. Yeah, um the two you have the floor. Um she has done lady first and returned the dollars. So over to you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chinaza. Good to meet you on the show. Thank and you. thank you, uh, Emmanuel, for, for this honor to be on your show. Um, cyberbullying has been around. I, I call it cyberbullying because everything happens within the cyber. It's, yeah. it's also internet. We use social media on internet. So people are naturally, they, they find it easy when they can, you can see them to bully others, even though the trait might have been in them from childhood, they may have a tendency to bully. But the fact that they can't see you, they can't see them, they they they, they tend to do it more and get away with it. No, in my simply def, simple definition of what cyberbullying is or social media bullying, it's the process of using internet. Or, 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 or computer device to to hurt other people deliberately or to get back at them to cause them pain emotional pain psychological pain or to make them to get back at them in some way that will hurt them you know without thinking about the consequences now because there is no physical contact people tend to downplay what social media bullying or cyber bullying is is the, the impact of, of cyberbullying on, on people. A lot of people have committed suicide in the last few weeks that we have been on lockdown because of cyberbullying. I also have data on that. And, um, and it has been a data that one out of three social media users have been cyberbullied at one point or the other. Okay. You know? And I think that's one of the reasons why in 2015, Nigerian government actually introduced an act called Nigerian Cybercrime Act. Now, this act will help you to get justice when you feel you are being cheated on social media or you are being stalked. There is, there are, there is cyber talk too. People stalk people on, on social media yeah. to get what they want from you. For instance, there was a lady that was, that was threatened recently she didn't know what to do. She had to. She, she told me, and I asked her to report. But unfortunately for her, the, the particular number that I've been sending WhatsApp to her, let me her, it's not always online. When you try the number, the number doesn't go. So the person actually always use the number only when they want to send evil message to this lady. She was emotionally distressed. She was scared. So I asked her to report to the police uh, on the matter. So eventually, we could not track this person down, although she's still alive. Mm. So cyberbullying can can be very cyberbullying can be very dangerous. Yeah, and it kills a lot of people. Thanks. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. It's it's a good. Th we will come back to you, the two on that because a lot of times people don't also know that they can seek um, redress or they can seek protection from. Um, the security people, especially when it comes yeah. to issues of blackmail. So yes, she's been uh, she's been trolled and all that. Others yeah. might also be blackmail because we've seen instances yeah. where maybe two lovers, when they have um, issues or uh, quarrel, yeah. one uses the picture of the other one, maybe the nude yeah. picture, to start blackmailing or sometimes extort money or sometimes yeah. ask the partner to come back to them. So we'll come back and talk about that shortly again to see how people can report yeah. because a lot of times when people yeah. are bullied they just don't know what to do in fact you find that they just leave the internet space you just find someone who's not been online for a while and when you ask deeper they tell you yes, ah, maybe yes. because they were bullied or something now yeah. Tinasa, let's even come yeah. to you a lot of ladies yeah. are victims of cyber bullying you know it comes it comes with with body shaming it used to be just the simple body shaming um you are too fat or you are too slim you are too thin and then it just blossomed from nowhere into our spaces you know we used to think that people who bully on the internet were in quote um touts you know but you're beginning to find even in professional spaces something as simple as 
Can we have a meeting next Saturday? Something as simple as that. Can we have a meeting next Saturday? Um, so, guys, what time next Saturday? And you will see a whole holla baloo about just fixing time for a meeting of professionals. And then you see people throwing shades at, at each other. You know, I'm not, I'm not your mate. Hey, you, this. Especially for ladies, when you are in a group with men, they will tell you, woman, shut up. Men are talking. And you are, and you'll be, you'll be shocked that an enlightened group, a professional group where you feel people can know better are the ones doing this. So, Chinasa, what will you say about ladies being bullied? So, um, you know, like I explained to you um, during my introduction that, you know, bullying is something that is, is a behavior, a behavioral yeah. pattern for people. Others are like psychological in the sense that they are going through a lot of other things that you do not know. And because the social media space is is like a place where people kind of type their voice let me use it like typing out their voice so you don't really see their faces you they only have the opportunity to type their voice so mm. they kind of like bring out that front and just throw it to anybody so let me start from the psychological point of view it's you know look beyond just that bullying Let's look at the mental um, healthiness. Sure. Of the yeah. people we, we even yeah. the people we walk around with. How is their men? How are they mentally? What's their mental capacity and health? You know, because um, just like somebody said, you are what you do all day. You understand? So the yeah. way you also talk, the way you relate to people, shows what is inside your brain. You understand? And that is where yeah. we just. Um, beyond that, so many people have learned to do this. It is well. How are you? It is well. They don't voice out, they bottle in and they implode inside, and then they now dish it out to whoever come in contact with them. Like, um, for instance, there was a particular time somebody came, a very good friend of mine, came to my social media post and just started talking, just like you said, ah, Chinasa. You are chopping big. Look at how fat you are. And this is joke. I, 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 I will say, you know, being somebody who has experience in times of psyche, say that this person do not even know that he is bullying me. Why would you come to that? I mean, it is my choice to either be fat exactly. or sleep. If I want exactly. to be sleep, I'll do extreme fitness and go all the way to skinny. But I don't want to. So can you just look at it as a choice? And we women are always prone to that because you're always in the face of people. People are always judging. They judge the clothes you wear. Even when you, you, they don't know whether it's only 10 that you have. And you repeat them every week. Look at you. You are just wearing clothes you wore yesterday. Last week you are wearing, I think they bought clothes for you. You understand? Your shoe don't bend. They don't know whether you have eaten. And then this thing with us always trying to look perfect outside, you know, packaging, mm. over packaging donkey in Nigeria. <laughs> you understand? So we don't even come to think mm. of value, emotions, relationship, and it is supposed to be the core for of, of life. You understand how yeah. best you relate with people, what how you yeah. really understand your fellow human being and all that. So we project and then we project those frustrations on, on all that. And it's becoming too much. Like, sometimes I am especially to visit Twitter because that town, that Twitter village, it seems <laughs> like everybody comes to on everybody. So it's like me, I have an environment. Seriously. It's too, it's too lethargic. Like, it's very later. You come in there, you can become depressed. And these are the offshoots of bullying that people don't think of. This person, does he have the, or does she have the mental yeah. capacity to carry it? You understand? Then mm. second, the one, when you are in a group, you mustn't throw banters on everybody and everything. Simple yes or no. We will linger for over two years, over, over, over two hours. And at the end of the day, you start asking yourself, why was I even in this 
<laughs> conversation in the first place. Why am I, you know, reaching out? Why am I projecting to this person? Because I know some people do that. You do self-evaluation and you see that all that time wasting was for nothing. And then you have yeah, left exactly. a very huge impact on somebody else. And yeah. just like you are going through yours, you don't know what that other person is going through. That person's situation might be that he or she is just at the brink. Especially us women. I keep saying especially because I don't really want to focus this on women in as much as we are the easy target. But bullying is, it relates to both male and female. Somebody could have just managed to buy a clicker, 500, iron it and come out. You understand? To manage and package your life, come out. By the time you start figuring the holes in that person's clothes, you don't know the frustration the person has been bottling inside. The next thing that person has gone to start taking um, substance. You understand? Stop using substance Out to fill up that, to fill down that. I think this is something you could have just avoided by saying your dress is nice and you go your way. If you are the kind of person like me that don't like to give, um, I don't like to pay um, this thing attribute when I, I don't feel it. I just look and pass, print and roll. You just look, return it on your own. You mustn't say everything. You know everything yeah. you see that you say. You don't mm. know what everybody is. You understand? So it yeah. is, it's it's okay. very keen as as we are in this in this public streets of social media, digital media, uh, mm. whether we call it cyber environment, whatever it is, yeah. we still have to know our etiquette. What you don't want people to give to you, don't give it to another person. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. Let, let you still let, have to have that yeah, communication yeah. etiquette. Okay. Yeah. Good one, Dechinasa. Let me come back to Dotu. Yeah. She's raised a whole lot of questions. Now, like she said, um, we're, we're not saying that men don't also come to the receiving end. But most times, you still find that it's the men who bully um, the ladies more, you know? So, what, what? let's even look at men bullying men as well, you know? So, some, some little arguments in, in a group you find some people will take it from the group and start DM, DM process and start insulting you as little as political affiliation. Simple thing as this party and that party. And while I don't start, they start trolling you and some could even give you that um, um, threats that the day we catch you on the road, I will break your bones. What do you have to say about this, um, Dotun? All right. Uh, see, there's no doubt about the fact that there are lots of toxic, the um, sad people on social media. A lot of people are actually sad about their lives. So coming on social media, they were looking for a way out, an escape to actually hit themselves of that pain that they are going go through. So you coming out to kind of challenge their opinion they will take it all out on you immediately. So when you want to see this kind of confrontation and attack, you will see a lot of them on Instagram. And at that point, you begin to wonder what actually took me, what brought me here? Why am I even in this group? For instance, on WhatsApp, just like you said, someone may suggest an idea contrary to or, or, or another person's opinion. And you, the next thing you see, you, you begin to see them. And at that point, you begin to wonder, have they meant to physically Thanks. to quarrel about something? And even you, you will feel like something out of that exactly. group. You know what I'm So, I, 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 I still I see it boils down to the to individuality. It's individual. The, the pro problem is more of individuals. Past things, the way we view opinions in our own space, now we bring them to we bring it to the group to the WhatsApp group, which is public place. For instance, we I, I think people should be, should learn more to be emotionally intelligent in answering people or contri making contribution in the WhatsApp group or social media because social media it may be a public place, but it will reflect your 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 thinking your your thought process.
the way you view life, your perception, your outlook to life will be reflected at, at, at the way you reply people, at the way you comment, at the way you, you make other people feel for them to accept your own opinion. You understand? A lot of people do not understand that imposing, imposing your own opinion on others also have an impact on their lives. A lot of people feel subhuman when you try to, to, to downgrade their own opinion, to make their own opinion look inferior to yours. So oftentimes, people want to fight back. Not, not the lo A lot of people will not want to keep quiet at that point. They will tell you to your face that go and, go and die. That is when throwing shade comes up, throwing subs, trolling. That's when it comes. When you, when you try to subdue other people's opinion and make yours superior on, on, on any platform, it becomes, it becomes a, a, a tug of war. And the fighting continues from there. Hello? And at the end of the day, the, the, the reason why that opinion comes up in the first place will not be achieved. So whoever, whoever, whoever in, a, in every group, I want to say this, in every group, there is always someone who always has his own, his own, own op or contrary opinion to people's opinion. In every group, I've noticed, in, especially in WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. And such people should be cautioned, because that's why we have admin, admin in the first place. It's the work of the admin to caution such person, to tame the person, not to always ruin other people's opinion. As low or as bad as anybody's opinion is, should be accepted. Later on, you can now streamline it or to where you are, you are, the essence of the discussion in the first place. So when the admin does not do the work properly, there will always be someone who, who will scatter the group. So on, on the places where you can not trim that is Twitter and, and Instagram. Instagram is one deadly place where when you post a picture or especially a video and you express your own opinion, people attack you. People tend to attack you. No matter how lofty, how brilliant your opinion or idea is, they will always have something to say, especially when you have a lot of followers. And most times those followers are not there to love you. Most times they are there to criticize your, your opinion about anything. They will always come up and tell you, go and sit down. This is not the right thing to do. Or that go and shut up your mouth. You know, those are the words that people cannot stand. And people shut down and go back to, his, to the room and begin to think, am I actually okay? Why people always shout me down? Then emotional, emotional trauma will set in. And before you know it, there'll be depression. So people don't know the impact of this social media attack oftentimes. And when you, don't, when you are constantly you know, bullied like that, and you don't you don't tell people you don't share it. It will take its toll on you. That is that is where the mental health issue comes in. Like Chinaza said, I hope I've addressed your your point your your question. Yes, yes. So let's take um, some of the comments here. Hello. Um, so many, yes, you have. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, so let's take some of the comments. Yeah. If if you guys can hear me, um, yeah, I can hear let's you. take okay, fine. So um many of the comments are quite yes, I can I can hear you. Okay, so let's take them. Uh do to help us read this one from David and um, let's come back. Hello, Dotun. Okay. Is still coming up? Truth is, many people don't understand the working of social media. We must first and first understand that social media. I can read it. I can read it now. Truth okay, is, go on. many people don't understand the workings of social media. We must first and foremost understand that social media is a virtual space where people from different walk of, walks of life interact. As many come to social media to deliberately inflict emotional pain on people by way, by way of exhibiting a superiority and making other people 
feel less human. We must continually call out people who are in the habit of bullying social media users. Okay, good one there. Um, Chinasa, let's take these ones here. Um, so many of them, I, I really didn't know that topic would be a, a very strong one. Chinasa, please help us read this one from Yomi. Um, Yomi Aminu. Most people who end up bullying or insulting others online are those who do not have the right information about the discussion or conversation, but feel that whatever opinion they have about the issue should be heard or accepted. When someone has contrary views, which may be correct, they become insultive. When you know your onions and have sufficient information about whatever is being discussed, you don't argue or bully people to accept your views. Hello? Wow. I'm hearing, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, very good ones there. Um, I got one from, um, let me see. It's a long thread, but I'm going to just try and read, um, read it. This one is from Adiambo. Adiambo in Kenya. Um, she says... People bully others online for many reasons. There are those who are just controversial naturally and would never agree with your, and would never agree with you. Um, yes, yes. Regardless of what you post, they will always contra contradict you and, and take on anyone who disagrees with them. And then she goes on to say, um, there's another one, she, she did. She did a, a thread of it. So let me look for the other one. There was, a, there was one that was very <laughs> funny. Then she says, there are those low esteemed individuals who take advantage of the facelessness and visuality of social media to crown themselves to rule like Hitler for a while. It's easy to know. It's easy to know them. They'll be insulting everyone in poorly constructed sentence and phrases and what what's the last one <laughs> and then she she said another thing here she said there are my brothers and sisters who like attention since it's cheap getting attention online they will bully and insult others online just just to be seen recognized and cheered they have become too much with the live streaming features and covid like this they at home <laughs> um, do, 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 let me let me ask this because it's very important you you make mention of telling that girl that lady who was bullied or trolled to report to um, the security agent now do people know that they can actually report issues around cyber bullying Can you hear me, Dotun? Can you hear me? Okay, maybe. Hello? I, I can hear you, though it's raining heavily where I am right now. Okay. And I think uh, Dotun probably is disturbing Dotun's network also. Okay. So maybe you help us ans answer the question. Uh, yeah. I was Okay, Dotun, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So I was I was asking do people actually know that they can report issues of bullying to maybe the security agents? Okay, okay now, okay. I can I, I, it was was break. It was broken. Uh, it was breaking at the point. Yeah. So I was I was asking that you made mention when you started that you told the lady who was being uh, bullied to report to um, the security agents. So do yeah, people just, yeah do people just feel okay when someone 
when someone bullies them, they should just take it like that and leave it. I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can hear you now. Okay, so Chinasa, let's come back to you. Um, you you deal a lot on communication, and um, I know you see a lot because you also interface with young girls, women, and all that. Um, some of this cyberbullying thing come from young people, especially trying to find expression. Like you said, when you started to, um, some might feel it's joke, but they don't also know the psychological um status of who they are throwing such jokes at you know everyone just assumes that it's only them that have issues they don't realize that the other person might not be having even worse issues than them you know so in, in your work with young people what can you say is the level of cyber bullying or um, um social media bullying that you see i really like the fact that you talk about twitter God, they drag people there, and the uh, Dotu has also crowded it up with Instagram. You will sit on your own, post your own thing. Je, 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 oh. Someone will from nowhere pick it up and buy the trouble from you. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Um, just like you were asking before Dotun um left, though he's back now. Let me sound it very clearly that cyberbullying is punishable by law. But he will throw more light on that, um, giving instances on um, how one can, you know, package his or her case in terms of um, provable cyberbullying with evidence. So he will take it from there. But let me answer your question first. Yes. So among young people, um, you know, this thing where growing up, um, parents tend to shush some and then some tends to be very loquacious. They can talk. You understand? They feel that they have the right to express. You know, it is one thing to know you have a right to do something. It is also another thing for you to know when those your rights are applicable. And just like they say in law, where another person's rights end? It's where the other begins so you might feel you're on your right before you know it you have been pushed to the left so i think this is the time where we start cautioning ourselves on how we how how we build our virtual image because you have a physical image you have a virtual image they call it digital identity and these things follow us as we go if you think that because it's online, nobody's seeing your face. You forget that you have created an account. Yeah. It's documented somewhere. And it is being recorded. Whether you are operating within a certain privacy or not, there is an archiving of every activity that happens in social media. The, the day of reckoning, when it comes, you will hear it. And I'll give an instance. There, is, there was someone... I think in the US, who made a comment about um, racism, you know, trying to, because he has grown up and trying to portray himself as pro racist. Pro -racist. And then he made a Twitter post. Um, I think um, um, cautioning someone else about the post that they made that looked or sounded um, racist in nature. Somebody, some we went and dug out what he tweeted over eight years ago. You understand? About yeah. racism. And his own was even worse. I think the person got to lose his job or something. That is how bad it is. So if you think that trolling people or bullying people online exonerates you, no, it doesn't. So as a young person, you are supposed to have positive mindset about life and interact with people positively. If matter no concern you, what happens? I've said it before. It's so annoying. Like when I go online, for instance, there was a time um, the video did um, bed. I think his children have his children and his fiance. Yeah. They have successive bed there within a particular place. 
you think the lady, the, 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 the fiancé's own first, the second daughter, be the third daughter, I can't even remember, second, and then the first daughter, third. And then, the, I think the second daughter lives abroad or something, so he couldn't go because of the COVID, but he celebrated it online anyways. Then the first daughter, the birthday, he went there alone. Now, what is the correlation between Davido's yes. wife and these small children? I think that was just the girl's five years birthday celebration. A little baby. And you are trolling the internet, asking why the fiancé did not make comments. But Bele fiancé, because this one is Yoruba, Davido should go and go and marry the Yoruba woman. Why is, I mean, what is all this? You understand, like, I keep wondering what is in the head? What does Ni what do Nigerians eat? This is five year old child's birthday. You understand, that has nothing to do with family tree or anything. Drop your happy birthday and go away now. Must you sit down there to start drawing? Um, how the family tree went wrong and some branches broke away. You understand, it's not our business. If you contain yourself within what is most important to you, you will live even a happier life. But when you start dragging other people's problems to yourself, you have issues. So the, the, the thing is, working with young people, I try to really make them understand that life presents us with so many opportunities, both the good and the bad. It is your decision to choose the right path to follow. And it starts it start with self-identification. Identify yourself, what you want. What you need to do, contain your emotions sometimes when it comes to public appearance. And public mm. appearance now includes virtual appearance because somebody somewhere is monitoring you. I, someone came to me one time and, and keep asking me, um, that Chinasa, why is it that your in your Facebook, you're always deleting comments? Like when people make negative comments on my pages, when I make a post, I, I told the person, look, this is my image. Because my image is me. I'm not having a different Facebook image. And then another Twitter image. And then a fiscal image. I am both virtually and offline because I term yeah. myself very, very important in the society by virtue of what I do. I don't need to project something different other than what I am or what I am saying. So if you come to my page to drop negative vibe, I will not go join issues with you because I don't believe in you bully me, I bully you back. I will quietly just go and deactivate that thing that you have posted so that nobody else will read it and start joining issues with you. Yeah. It is my opinion. That's my page and it's my thread. You understand? You yeah. Either you buy it and marry with me or you present an argument. You, I mean, there's no. They, we can all have differing arguments about an issue, but let's respect each other's space yeah. and rights and emotions. Yeah. Say your own views in a way that it sounds. I will laugh over it because nobody is domiciled with all the knowledge in the world. But don't come and insult me on my own posts. You understand that I use my own data to money to buy data and posts. You come and insult on top of it. I will quietly deactivate your message. You understand? Yeah. So those are also ways that you can cut tell these things coming to you. You can simply just go and block off the person from reading or following you. After all, it's a free environment. Yeah. It's open oh. of control what comes to you. You can do that. But when you cannot control that, there are various ways that you can address those issues. And Dotsu is back online. OK. So um, Dotsu, if you can hear us, can, can you hear us now, Dotsu? OK, Dotsu, we, we... We need you are a media personality, so we, we need you to also tell us um some some effects, you know, that um um social media bullying can affect um media personnels or, or um not just media personnel now but like influencers. So let's use the word influencers now. So yes, um 
social media influencers, you know, who also even report stories. They have gotten to some extent that they say the hunter is being haunted. What would you um, say about that? Do, do, we, we, we can't hear you. Um, we'll need you to either put on your earpiece. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So please go on. I can hear you. Okay. While you are getting your while you are getting your earpiece ready, let me let me quickly read this. I, I can't hear you, Dotun, but please try and get your earpiece on. Let me read this message. It's a continuation of um, Adiambo or Diambo. It says, for the bullied, no one oppresses you without your consent. Take on the bullies. Um, okay, take on the bullies. Block, unfollow, or just ignore them. Don't exchange words with them. They love it. I delete comments I don't like before my friends feed on them. I don't entertain online bullies. I think um, Chinasa, Odiambo from Kenya just also reiterated the point you talked about okay. deleting, deleting comments from um, comments that you don't like on your page so that um, they also don't influence. So Dr. if you can hear us now, can you hear us now? Hello, Dotun. Please, we need we need you to speak so we will will learn. Hello. Okay, let's um get Dotun. Please um try and get your earpiece. So Chinasa, um she she mentioned um Adiambo Diambo from Kenya mentioned something very important you know she said something that uh, for for the bullied no one oppresses you without your consent take on the bullies or block them or follow or just ignore them don't exchange words with them i delete comments i don't like before my friends feed on them she just said your mind there Chinasa. you know you you mentioned something about deleting yeah you know what there are people who may not have um the strength the the capacity that you have to do all all the to take even any of the decisions what can you say to them because at times you hear people just you just see people go offline you know you don't know what happened maybe someone was um blackmailing them in box and you may never know so what do you have to say to such people before we come back to Dutton? okay so let's start with those measures there are some people who deactivated their messenger because of trollers. So they, they, they just, whatever you want to say to me, come on Facebook on the timeline and drop it there for everyone to see. And then there are some people who put certain regulations. I mean, they, all these social media, they have settings. If you are going to be in social media, you really have to learn how to survive in social media. So let's start yeah. from the protection aspect for instance when um i started on social media people would tag me you understand and yeah. then i'll keep like calling them after the other please stop tagging me i don't like it i don't if you check i don't make a post and tag people unless we have an agreement you are in my picture or i have something directly to you have something directly to do with that post but so yeah. many people encroach. The fact that we are all on social media doesn't mean that you don't know that you are encroaching on someone's privacy. So I went to put a setting where if someone tagged me, it doesn't come to my timeline unless I go to you approve, approve it. of it. Okay. You understand? So since yeah. I know I can't control what other people do because they have that innate nature not to, you know, follow through instruction. I have to put on measures where I sieve out information and not just for social media, even for life, in life generally. 
you you can just keep away from negative people so that is what i also i bring that learning or in training into my social media platforms put on all the security measures that i think will protect my mental wellness from all these things getting to me you understand even my messenger i need to approve you before you send a message to me unless we are already friends on 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 facebook those are things you can do so when those things come you just ignore block the person entirely and it goes off but some people for whatever reasons you know like this kind of things to get through to them and then it now goes into your psyche you have to find a measure the truth is in life there will always be bad and good people will yeah. we will we, will we resolve to checking out of this world because they are bad people no yeah, so you target true. them head on you find a way to cope you understand if you need to you know post your account for a while there are people who do that they go offline for three three months as long as you are not going off to be depressed you understand yeah yeah okay doctor are you there now can you hear us I can hear you now. Can you hear oh. me? Yes, I can hear you too. I can hear you. Okay, so yes, I can quickly, hear we were you asking, now. We were asking you what people who are bullied, what they can do okay. to um, okay. help themselves. And then we're also asking what media influencer, um, influencers can also do when they are bullied because they, they are not... Um, they are not immune to being bullied. Yeah. So what, what's your take? Okay. 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 Quickly, let me, let me say, introduce myself at the end of this show. I'm, I'm a social media influencer. I'm a blogger and I'm a development journalist. So over the years in my, as a, as a development journalist, I've realized that we, we, we are always um, in, the, in the spotlight in the sense that every content, every information we share is deemed as true. On, particularly, I use social media to share my, my content and information and yeah. my news, especially I do news regarding around development and, 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 and stocks. So I realized that people rely on it. And the day that you make a mistake, to share information that are not true, that day you will get dragged. You will be dragged on social media because they are just waiting for you to make that error. They've been following you for long. They've been, they will be consistent about your information, liable. But the day you made one mistake, one seventh of, or you want to write 10 a.m. Now, uh, 5 a.m. that day, you will kill yourself. I want to advise media, media and social media, or anybody with the media sector to be aware of is to be wary of is to be careful the kind of information they share to make sure they defy all the information. They should fake news, they should not be in a hurry to break the news, they should not be in a hurry to break the news, they should. To verify every content, the statistics, the data regarding the information. They should not show that are shallow. Otherwise, they will be attacked. If they don't want to be, don't, no matter how thick skinned you are, forget it. You, you will feel it. You will feel it. They will, they, will, they will tell you that you are even working for politician to scatter Nigeria. You are even the evil genius. <laughs> so just be careful the kind of information you share. Verify before you share it on social media, for instance. So for, for, the, for the people who are looking for justice regarding social media bully, bully <laughs> regarding social media bully, now you must go online. That they should download Nigeria Cyber Crime Act of 2015 and study it. One thing I've learned is Nigerians we don't like reading anything that that read takes energy from us. So we shun it, we run from it. So we should go and download it. It's online. 
use your social media, use your, your data to download it and know your rights. Know that when somebody is abusing you on social media, you can get that person arrested. If the person didn't stop to insult you, to troll you, to stalk you, bully you constantly, you have the right to get him arrested. Find out information about the person, where he lives, where he works. You can get him arrested with evidences. You understand? Go and download it and study it. I wasn't the one that wrote it. I didn't compile it. But I was among the people that pushed for it because I was online. I was, I was, I, my work is online. I'm, I'm an online journalist. So when government wanted to introduce, want to climb down on social media, we all clamored that cybercrime 2015, cybercrime at 2015, rather than clamping down on social media because federal government was getting tired of attack too. People in the Senate, people, legislators, I know they are not perfect, but people attack them on daily basis, call them names, you know, use memes, memes that are funny to, to analogy, analogy for, for, for their work. So people, they got tired and wanted to clamp down on social media. So people, people cried out and said cybercrime hack 2015 should be used on anyone who tried to... So for me, generally, I think we are, we are moving towards an era where social media will be used as yastic for employment. As yastic to get jobs because of clients, when you want when you go for interviews, before the interview, they would have asked you to submit your social media link account mm -hmm. link. Yeah, all your social media link will be sent to the to the employee em employers. So the, the, the employer would have very would have checked on your social media to know whether you are the type of that that will be that will fit in for the organization. You understand. So that is the kind of error we have. People should be wary of the kind of engagement they do on social media, the kind of retweet you do on Twitter, the kind of comment you do on Instagram. Instagram and other um, social media network are being strict these days because they too are not finding it funny. There are policies that end before you even register on that social media network. And when you don't abide by those, those places, you will be you will be penalty for it. So, but in this part of the world, we see social media as an avenue to attack one another. And at the funniest part is many people who do this thing use students on Twitter, people register with funds that you can't trace. Incognito, they use those incognito accounts to attack people. After some while, they will take it down, and that is the most painful part. That's that's why it's difficult to trace many of these people on social media, and they keep doing this consistently, attacking people without justice. But for social media, for for WhatsApp, it's very easy to trace. It's very easy to trace the number. MTN, NCC can track the number down for. In it should the person continue to, to, to threaten you, you can be tracked, the person can be tracked down. It's easy on WhatsApp, anybody who is bullying you down because of the phone number the person is using. Mm -hmm. You understand? But on Twitter, on Instagram, people use pseudonyms. You understand? Which is quite more difficult for people, for people to track down because they do it and get away with it. They use those pseudonyms. They will not use all original name, name basket Adam. <laughs> you see prince of of the world all those are the names we use on twitter and instagram to themselves and they get away with it but to, to to protect your sanity once you realize that somebody is attacking you consistently frequently you just need to shun that particular social media app for a while stay away from it to protect your mental health it's true, so that you don't break down, because so that you don't slide into depression. They do it deliberately. They pick up, they single out people so that, to that they were attacked. So you see celebrities that person attack themselves on social media. You see celebrities attack too. Musicians, people use pseudonyms to attack them. 
they hack into their systems to, uh, to their social media account. It happens to this popular singer, uh, Sheyi Shey. Our uh, social media, uh, uh, Instagram account was hacked into, and uh, yeah, no and image was picture. projected yeah. Yeah. by this, these evil people. So people, people should be once you realize that you have been bullied regularly, and there is no way under pseudonyms, under in, or incognito by someone you don't know, stay away from that half for a while. Or you can even this activate deactivate your account temporarily and later on yeah later on put it on again you understand so to see your mental health because cyber bully has emotional issues it has psychological effect on people people don't know no matter how thick skin you have when you are being bullied on a regular basis you on your phone you on your computer you see someone abusing you Calling you names that your mother never never gave you when you were back, you were given back to yeah. you, you will be depressed. You had yeah. and to couple with the fact that you can't read because you don't know who the person is. So the danger of, of for media personality, make sure you are always sharing reliable information, verifiable information. Don't share fake news. If you make that mistake, you'll be attacked, you'll be you'll be dragged. Just shun it. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Dotun. We're wrapping up now, guys. Um, so your final words of All advice. Right. So I will be asking Chinasa um, your final words of advice to people in one minute as we wrap up. Then I'll come to Dotun to also wrap up. Yeah. Okay. So my final advice is whatever it is, whether um, physical, social media, Maintain your image because there are people who are watching. In as much as you think you can go and create it, if they want to trace you, they will trace you to your bedroom at the end of the day. There is nothing hidden under the sun. I mean, let's all maintain communication etiquette, like Dotun has pointed out. You understand? And what you know you don't want to be dished to you, don't dish it to others. Is what I usually mm. tell mm. people. You know, as, as much as I don't want people to insult me, I go about, you know, playfully respecting your business, politely. Business. Matter what your mouth, no fit too well. Remove them. You understand? And also, like we mentioned early, earlier, there are settings on all these social media platforms that you can actually use to curtail how much people get to you. Verify, verify the people who you are following or who you are allowing to follow you. Follow you, yeah. Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. I mean, in, they have the right to follow you. You also have the right to make sure that they have unfollowed you or that you block them. All these media platforms have... There's a reason why that block is there. Please use it as often as possible for your mental health wellness. I know they waste time. I can't watch some talk. You say my talk no better, you throw me insult. I leave the space for you. You mean say your class passed my own. I yeah. join another one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my own. You understand? Yeah. I won't live yeah. long. I don't know my person can home, but I live just my own. That's what it be. I want Nigerians. Protect the ultimate fear. Leave conversation and yeah. leave out to you. Leave those conversations. <laughs> if you need to take out for a while, please take out and come back. You understand? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, to wrap up for us, still as I want to keep we love. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. your final words of um, advice to everyone as we wrap up now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, actually yes I, I, yeah I actually yeah I actually agree with Chinaza. see social media is, has been proven to to help to extend people's um uh what is it called um lifespan Especially people who are, who are older, who are retired. Visiting Facebook has proven 
to extend people in their fifties. Extend their life. Yes, it can extend your life. It can help you ease tension. Social media has good side. We are not saying social media is bad. The yeah. essence of social media should not be abused. Social media is for is for social good. It's to help share information, information that are true, that are reliable. So people should stick to that. They should not abuse it. Now, for the WhatsApp group, any admin, any group that I belong, any WhatsApp group that I belong, that they call at any discussion, I always, I always, I always excuse myself. I don't force myself to stay in the group. My, I guard my sanity a lot. I am a peaceful person. I am vocal and anything painful. I, I love peace. I love to, when, once I try to settle the WhatsApp group, in the WhatsApp group, like three or two times, settling cases that are not meant to be minor issue that is, was escalated. I will I just excuse myself. So for you to have been that, because the day they will do it to you, you will not yeah. expect it. Yeah. That day you attack in that WhatsApp group by unknown person that you don't know before. Someone you know, you can, you know, private chat the person and say, okay, Oga, take it easy. Oga, stop some people, show the person. But if you don't know him, that doesn't listen, uh, excuse them because that you will bounce on to. The day, that day it will be like a dream, you may not find it funny. So yeah. to prevent that, excuse yourself. And if they ask you, why you do opt out of that WhatsApp group, tell them that you are not finding what they are doing in the group funny. That they keep mm -hmm. attacking themselves, trolling themselves. You know what I'm For no reason, we are, you, should, you should explain yourself. And if they now tell you, okay, oh, they will control everybody in the group, you can now come back to the group to prevent, you know, that aspect of social media. Like Instagram, for instance, if you don't, if you don't know, if you know you don't have the mind to visit a platform, they are, don't go there and comment. Yeah. <laughs> don't go there and comment. Watch and go. Like Bible, watch and pray. Just watch and watch because people are probably to to looking forward to divorce. They will devour you, and there's nothing you will do. <laughs> they will devour you. So, generally, above all, learn to learn to download that Nigerian Cyber Crime Act of 2015 and study it. Know when to use it against people who are trolling you, who are attacking you, who are cyberbullying you, or on social media. Learn to use it. Study it. Don't say it's too long. Look for it. It's on social media. Just Google it on Google it. Nigeria Cyber Crime Act of 2015. Download it there. You can actually it, show already that guy that was vowing for for president has been arrested for by federal government. This he was controlling some government of India. I you know constantly attacking the person's personality. So if somebody is constantly attacking your personality on social media. Know that there is cyber crime act of 2015 and take action. You can if you can trace the person's phone number, use time to use time to track him down and arrest him so that he will leave you alone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you guys have been amazing. Thank you to Allah Dotun Ray. I will um, close the program today by reading this message from um, um, Adiambo once again. Um, she sent in a fourth message. She said, I posted about the need to popularize family planning five days ago. Some woman is still shouting herself hugs about it just because she has six, doctor six daughters. I have stopped engaging. So I think this brings... Um, to a lot of um, bear, what you guys have said that when you are in a group and um, it, get, it, it gets hot and you can't cope with the ideology and the fights and all that, it's just a good thing that you just take a bow um, for your health and all that. You guys have been amazing and thanks to everyone who watched. The video will still be here after the show for everyone to who missed out on the episode at this particular time. We understand that there are a lot of our viewers who also their country's time zone and, and time differences there. 
um, the videos will be here. And keep your comments coming. We'll still be engaging your comments. And um, my guests will also respond to them as the time goes on. Thanks to everyone who joined us. We really, really appreciate. And once again, thanks to my guest um, for pulling you out of your business. Chinaza is actually supposed to be on leave, but I had to still drag her out of her leave to come join us. And Dotu is a very um, busy person, always online, sniffing, sniffing for news everywhere. We'll soon break your leg. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, till I see you uh, some other time. My name is Ambassador Emmanuel Gabari. Let's do it again on Saturday, God willing, 2 p.m. Have a beautiful Tuesday and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Don't wave bye, now. Everyone. Invite me. <laughs> Dotu, why are you bullying me? Wave. I'm bullying you. Wave. Bye bye. <laughs> mm -hmm.